Hi, I'm Lorcan Kinsler from Brand Nova Digital, um, and you are listening to the Social Media Talks podcast with Alan Hennessy from CompassMedia.ie. Welcome to Social Media Talks podcasts, brought to you by CompassMedia.ie. Hello, and thank you for joining me. This is the Social Media Talks podcast, brought to you by CompassMedia.ie. Episode number 41. I'm your host, Alan Hennessy, and this is the podcast to help business owners who want to learn more about social media marketing. And if you'd like to listen to any of our previous podcasts, you can log on to our website at compassmedia.ie forward slash social media talks. You can also join our Facebook group by logging on to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash social media talks and we're looking forward to today's show today I'm going to be joined by Lorcan Kinsler and Lorcan is one of the most sought after digital marketing strategists in both Ireland and internationally having worked with some of the biggest names in information marketing while working with the launch man Over the past three years, he's trained over 3,500 professionals through custom training for 12-week digital marketing programs and a two-day intensive lead generation sales funnel architecture workshop for leading brands and agencies. He is well known for his innovative and passionate approach to digital marketing and he lectures with digital marketing with several institutes, including the Dublin Business School, Griffith College and Digital Marketing Institute and other corporate training organizations. He's also the founder of Brand Nova Digital, a digital marketing agency which provides all aspects of marketing to support an organization's online sales form and by always reflecting credibility, trust, authority in the marketplace. And today we are going to be talking to Lorcan all about digital strategies. So without further ado, I think we will transition straight over to the interview. Hi Lorcan, how are you today? Thanks for joining us today on the Social Media Talks podcast. It's great to have your company. How are you? I'm great, yeah. I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Good stuff. So before we get into our chosen subject, which we are going to be talking about digital strategies, uh, which I'm quite looking forward to, um, you might give us a little brief background on yourself just before we start. I've already given you a little intro at the start of the show, but uh, you might uh, expand on that. Yeah, sure. Um, Name is Lorcan Kinsler. Um, I'm CEO and founder of a company called Brand Nova Digital. We're a digital marketing agency based in New Ross County, Wexford. Um, and what we do is we actually kind of, um, we are, I suppose, primarily kind of based in kind of brand, uh, web, desi- uh, web um, design, build, um, search engine optimization, pay-per-click and social media management. But a big emphasis is on the kind of graphics on copywriting in terms of actually really converting traffic. Um, I started in this space, I suppose, 2009, 2010, which I worked with a company in um, San Diego called The Launchmen. Um, and uh, we were successful for um, launching some of the, um, the biggest information products kind of um, in the world at the time where we had a USP of uh, of doing a million dollar a launch, a um, million dollars per launch. And it was actually kind of launching kind of um, products for the likes of um, um, Tony Robbins, um, Mike Cannons, um, Dan Kennedy, and, the, you know, profit lo- lo- launch formula, like uh, across the board, like we worked with some of the biggest and best names. And we went on to kind of turn 30, 31 million dollars, like in a, um, it was a nine month period, ex- ex- a very exhausting stuff and did 9.2 million in a 48 hour period. But again, what we did was and how we went about it was we leveraged, you know, kind of digital marketing mm-hmm. and actually how to do that. So through search engine optimization, email marketing, social media and affiliate marketing to kind of, I suppose, turn a sales page on its side and actually kind of bring people to a payment cart um, system. From there then, um, I hung up 
got my boots in there with that in around 2012. And in that time as well, I started to lecture in Dublin uh, with the Digital Marketing Institute um, on their diploma and postgraduate program. Built out the program then for uh, Griffith College, uh, their digital marketing diploma, and worked with the Dublin Business School. So unfortunately, the lecturing and training is so much um, not as much as uh, as I'd like to to, to be, or I suppose where I can do it myself. But um, um, I do have one or two kind of clients, like which I provide training. But I suppose most of the time, and um, from a day to day operations point of view, is spent in the office meeting clients and looking at I suppose um, uh, campaigns, um, whether it be actually kind of building out new platforms, websites, brands, logos, right down to actually kind of leveraging and digital marketing strategies for them. Brilliant, a busy man, a busy man, and uh, mm. yes, I, I I actually I actually done my post grad in the the DMI, so uh, I know all about their courses. They're uh, really straight really strong as well and so today we're going to be talking all about uh, digital strategies and you know I think a lot of businesses don't understand I think that what they think is is when a digital strategy comes by it's just oh yeah get a website and put put some posts up on social media but there's so much more to it I I think well I don't I don't think I know (laughs) I know from from (laughs) from a marketer's point of view that there is but uh, we might you might explain exactly what where it comes what it is is a digital strategy and how we should go about starting it if we are sure building one out um, for for many of um, I suppose uh, businesses students um, which I've met over the years um, I start with uh, the introduction of there's you know if we never meet each other again there's two words which are extremely important in this whole um, overwhelming kind of space which we call digital marketing or social media and that is traffic and conversion to simplify it or to filter it or to um, scale, you know, skin it back. And the reason why these two words are actually so important to me is because they're they're the focus of your digital marketing real estate, which is your website. And our job um, as business owners is looking to actually kind of drive traffic to your platform, your website, your brand, your legacy with the with the focus, the objective, with the conversion. There has been, there's no doubt, there has been a um, paradigm shift in terms of business um, which has taken place over the last 10 years where you have some very, very successful businesses, bricks and mortar um, across every you know village, town, city in Ireland, Europe, the globe, where they're closing down. There's dereliction because we're now competing with an online uh, marketplace. And that marketplace is extremely aggressive because it requires um, a knowledge and um, a passion around like a particular product or service and being able to deliver that not only where we might see it within the boundary of Ireland, but it's it's uh, bound it's boundaryless, like you know, where we can we can sell to every country in the world. So there is that competition where we're not paying, you know, for the rates as in a bricks and mortar, we're not paying for the light and heat, the staff, you know, the big fit out costs. Mm. So there has been this big massive shift in terms of actually how we see business. And when we look at that digital marketing real estate, I always kind of, um, I suppose, make an analogy or provide an analogy that if you and I kind of um, went or looked to set up a business, um, Alan, and it was a clothes shop and we did it maybe kind of on, um, you know, in Ranala and um, we had maybe three or 400 people who'd come into that shop, like, you know, and at the end of the day, um, I went to the till and you'd arrive kind of over at the till and we'd wonder like, you know, how much money we made. And mm. if we found it at the end of that, of that day at six o'clock when we opened that till that there was no money in the till I would look at you and it says where's the money you said look back at me and says where's the money and you said where the who's after robbing the money (laughs) so but imagine if the realization was there was no sale there'd be somewhat shock and a real sort of sense of hysteria of well what are we going to do we have to pay bills because remember Fun, fundamentally, this is business. Yeah. This is require a requirement of actually kind of paying mortgages, paying bills and bits and pieces. So business for me has not changed. Business still requires hard work, discipline and consistency. Mm. And with that in mind, when you have those bits and you know, when you have those kind of, um, I suppose, um, anchors like, you know, that this is business, it is so important that if we are going to have traffic to our website, we need to have conversion. And that's where I suppose I focus on the conversion yeah. part. The strategic part on, it's not just about traffic, but if for many websites and over the last 10 years, websites have been built like, you know, by the thousands 
hand it over to the client after an exhaustive process of, you know, kind of emails back and forward, the frustration, you know, kind of get, I want this Facebook page here, I want this here, I want that there, to find out like, you know, that your website is built, but you're getting getting no traffic. It's at that point then is where we look to market the, the platform. And when I look at a platform, a my digital marketing real estate, where I'm looking to get traffic, I, I first start my number one place where I start is search engine optimization. Mm. And the reason why I start with search engine optimization, because I would see search engine optimization as the foundation of my digital marketing real estate. And the reason why I see it as the foundation, it is there where I would carry out that very necessary digital marketing, I suppose, audit your website, SEO audit to find out, well, what's broken and what's not. It's something akin to kind of the Irish water system. <laughs> you know, where, you know, you know, the reason why we kind of got caught up um, initially, like in the Irish water system is we have a lot of broken pipes, yeah. you know, kind of up and down, up and down the country. And you have all of this water flowing in to one spot or around the country. And we've got these broken, broken pipes and it's 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 just leaking out so i see your website as and our website is and the company's website as that kind of i suppose dam and if we're going to send traffic whether it be from search engine optimization and for anybody who doesn't know what i'm getting at there is simply that means for me that when i go searching for a product or service on google i want to come up at number one Mm. okay there's a particular system and process and actually how that's achieved and we've actually somewhat perfected that over um many years like which we do it really really well and we can guarantee without doubt in any kind of industry we can kind of we can get any business and um, with i suppose understanding the competitiveness of the business up in, within the top like you know, one or two within six months mm. but it's important that we need through the audit process to find out what's broken and what's not so if we're going to send 100 people to that website we want to make sure that we're converting up to 100 people not that we're sending 100 people but maybe 20 percent of them are being lost because because the website is not loading fast enough. Yeah. Or there's another maybe kind of like, you know, 10% um, loss, like because you're not indexed and you can't be, you know, there's so many reasons why we can't, we mm. can't be found. Mm. So we basically just kind of maybe kind of, I suppose, it's like an NCT for a car. We just, we fix all of those elements yeah. to make sure that we're getting the absolute maximum traffic with the maximum or the optimum amount of possible conversion once we get the traffic. And the, what for me, the conversion is make a phone call to that person so they, they can close the sale because the sale is business. Yeah. The sale is going to pay yeah. the bills. Okay. Yeah. Um, it could be for more of the more inter- bigger companies, it might be the kind of opt into the email. If it's an e commerce website, it might be just that I want to actually kind of buy a pair of cycling shorts and I found them and it's in size, was it, you know, 34. And I, I part, make the purchase and that's it. It's done. The second part, and I don't want to maybe kind of talk too long on this, but the second part of it was the digital marketing strategy for me then thereafter would be pay-per-click. And that's, again, additional traffic to the digital marketing real estate. From there, then, I actually looked to social media. And it, within all of, I suppose, that process, I have, I, I, I'm, I'm taking it, uh, I, I understand that I have carried out, um, I suppose, my market research hmm. of understanding Understanding like my situation analysis, looking at the audience, looking at the the, per, the persona framework to find out exactly who and where I need to market to my audience. So, for example, if I'm actually kind of in the hill walking kind of space, okay, and I'm looking to actually kind of market to an audience, I first I'm first going to look at like my my who am I looking to actually kind of sell to. So, if I have maybe kind of Samantha here on my left and I have Barry here on my right, and both of those people are actually kind of they love hill walking. Samantha is actually 24 years of age. She lives in Ranla. She's um, she's going out with Greg. She absolutely loves Facebook and she adores Instagram because of actually what she can do with her imagery and whatnot when she's out walking. That's actually kind of that's that's where now I know I need to actually kind of find kind of Samantha. Barry here on the other side is actually kind of unfortunately Barry's gone through a very very messy separation. He's 52 years of age. He lives in Fox Rock. He is an accountant. He absolutely hates Facebook. Mm. He has no time for it. But one place that he does like because through his job and connections is LinkedIn. So now I know that for me as a marketer to these 
two people that I need as I suppose to pay my bills I need to actually have a presence on Facebook well first of all I the the common denominator there is search engine optimization because I know that Samantha is going to search for me Barry is going to search but I also need to have a presence on Facebook Instagram and LinkedIn mm. okay and it's it's it, you know you hear people or I, I suppose people in the, the digital marketing space you have to be everywhere you have to be you don't you do not no I, I don't agree with that at all I would you be the same be. I would be same I'd be thinking of the same way you know you don't have to be you be, need to be where your customers are and that's really it it's as simple that, that as that is it. that yeah. is it I would prefer to spend like 24 hours of my day like just kind of know if they're on Facebook that's it or Instagram and absolutely crush that particular yeah. market but not to kind of spend kind of as you know, Alan, like you know, time is precious, mm. and um, and and we can get we can get buried, um, we can get buried and just lost in so many different social media platforms. But I think if we actually do the initial um, kind of market research to find out, like you know, the persona, the audience, do your SWOT analysis, the very very fundamentals of marketing, mm. you know, find out the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. That somewhat like then crystallizes exactly where we need to be. Now to finish on, I suppose, and a long winded answer. <laughs> around how I go about digital <laughs> is is mobile for because for, for you know as for everybody um, desktop had had a child um, so some some around four or five years ago it's called mobile and mobile has now become a monster and it is now actually kind of much more flexible much more innovative much more creative and really that's where you know the the audience is now as opposed to what we call I suppose um, desktop how I look at um, yeah strategy. and I think as well like I, I agree totally with what you're saying is is that you know at the end of the day your website is the key you know it's your it's your yeah. it's your shop online as you say bricks and mortar you know if it's not right people are just not going to go to it they're just going to say ah oh, you know what this is taking too long to load i go to the next one and they're gone and you haven't you've lost that sale and as you say fundamentally you know you are looking at a business here and you're looking at making money you're looking at creating a value or whatever it may be to that person and I think that's where people they don't think you know they say oh well I have to have a website but I have to have everything on it and I go no yeah. you actually don't have to have everything yeah. on you need to have who are you selling to who is yeah. your market and then that's what you put on your website the yeah. fact that you do size 26 and shorts or you or you do you know running shoes if that's not the market that you're trying to sell to well okay you maybe have it on it but don't be focusing on that one where you want to focus is is where your money is going to come in at the end of the yeah. day so and I think that's the that's the big mistake a lot of people make with websites and then they do they put up a website and they say oh yeah that's great and we know that you can buy your WordPress sites or whatever it is and you can do them up yourself or Wix or whatever and as much as some of them look great if they're not done correctly by a, a designer or a, a web designer or a web developer they're just not going to work and you're going to that's why and I and I often see it with businesses they come to me and say I have my website I never get any business from my website and you go on and you look at the website and you say well because you're not getting any businesses because this this and this <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they go Oh, well, yeah. really? Well, I think it's great. I like, I yeah. know we dealt with one company uh, not so long ago. Oh, the their website was just, it must have been made in 1980, for want of a better word. <laughs> yeah. And it was still in 1980. And I'm going, you have nothing. You have, you know, and they go, oh, but look, it looks great. And I'm going, but have you ever got a sale from it? And they went, uh, well, not really. And I says, right, you need to rework that. And they did. And it started to show a lot of a lot of results for them. You know, so yeah. I agree. And then search engine optimization is key to it. And it's a, it can be a minefield, but I, I think if you're going to do it and you're, and you're focused about your business, you need to go and hire a professional. And I, yeah. I always said like, you know, if I have a problem with the, the bath leaking or the, the shower leaking here, I don't go and try and fix it myself. I get that plumber to come in and do it because I know that's what he does and I don't have to worry. I know it'll be done right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's 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 um it's a funny it's a funny one. Um, I know that uh, I, I um it's, it's it's a similar type kind of uh, analogy which I make uh, kind of um where if you went to the, you know I I do because of a friend who's a dentist, but he if you went to the dentist and while underneath the uh right while lying on the chair and you have your root canal just to be you know you know just to mm. be kind of performed or whatever, and you say here look I'll take it from here, <laughs> 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 I'll, I'll I'll sort this. 
one out or you know um, it, it it is and it's very it is absolutely you're dead right in 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 situations whether it be a plumber i get the plumber and and i don't know what um where and i i i, I do have an idea of actually where this has come from it has come from youtube it has come from that whole sort of revolution of actually kind of how to and it being explained and some of it was really really good information but which which where you have specialization and um, where people are like that's their 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 job that's their that's actually kind of what they're skilled in whether it be for example um search engine optimization even to kind of go through being um a pay-per-click practitioner yeah. i mean it takes quite a, a, a quite a while a quite a a lot a lot of exams um through kind of um through google it doesn't happen that easy so to kind of pick it up in one or two steps off of um youtube isn't going to really cut it and i think it all goes back to if you want to kind of get it done right if you want to kind of like you'll know that it is done right um i think it's all as important to go to a particular you know practitioner who's actually kind of um, doing it you know all, you know every day mm. like i would often get I, I would often get requests and people would say to me you know oh do you do pay-per-click and i'd say no i don't because and, and, the, and i like i could probably i could probably muddle my way through it but i actually say to people say no i don't because yeah. i i know how big of a task it is and i know how complex it can be and yes you're playing with, you know if you're if you're dealing with a client's money and whatever and they're saying right well I give you X amount I give you five grand for this and you go off and you spend the five grand and nothing happens of it the, what are they going to come they're going to come back to you and say well hold on Alan you know we gave you all this money and we haven't seen any return and I'd say yeah so instead of putting that out there I would say well no I don't know I don't know how I wouldn't be up to speed on it but I know for instance Larkin would be up to speed on it yeah, he would yeah. be able to and I would direct him onto you because I think that's the way you know you need to be doing business because it's again that's that no like and trust scenario that if I can go to Alan and he doesn't know he'll he'll direct me to someone who will know and when you, when like, especially when it comes to pay per click it can be very very oh, daunting absolutely. very yeah. very daunting like if you don't know what you're at you know. Oh, it, it, it is, and it's even within kind of our own agency. Like you know, we we, we have like you know people that kind of in brand. We have people kind of in kind of search engine mm. optimization. It's it, we don't. It's very we don't cross pollinate. Um, they've yeah. all got their own. Sp- specialist kind of space of actually kind of where they you know kind of operate within and yeah it's 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 i think um you can't dilute this stuff it's just it's it's um because when you look at marketing whether it be for example brand um pr um even traditional um digital i mean there's quite a lot in it and um, there's quite and some i mean there's there's it's 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 we we we're challenged quite a bit like even in-house because we're actually kind of carrying out a, a particular I, I suppose where we've had to kind of grow um, into different areas and kind of get people in is because we just didn't have that expertise mm. um even within say for example graphics like you know graphic you know um, or pr so it's it's a case of nearly kind of organically growing rather than look at we'll give it a shot shot yeah. at it ourselves yeah. you know it's, it's it's it is actually a client at the end of the day they're paying money uh, it's your reputation and um, so it's important that like there is um you know you know that that, that they get what, exactly what they're paying for you know oh i agree totally i i, and I agree and when it, it's the same with social you know there's a lot of people that like i think and um, we We've, we've both seen it that you know over the last I suppose year or two years you'll see now that you know if there's people sitting at home like if you use Facebook they're suddenly they're a, they're an expert on Facebook you know and you know yeah all right you may have put up a few posts on Facebook and you might be getting a good bit of traction on Facebook but it's the marketing behind it it's the understanding behind it it's the yeah. measurement behind it it's all of these other bits and pieces that they don't do so if you're going to and I think that's what it is as well it has killed certain amounts of social social media marketing in over over a period of time mm. where yeah. people they just think that they can do it because they're sitting there on Facebook every night of the week and it, you know oh I can do that for you and yeah so you know, Mary, I'll give it a shot. Mary, yeah. or, Mary or John's down the road and says, "Oh well, I can get Mary or John to do it for forty quid and for for the week, and and you're charging me X." And I'm going, "Yeah, but you're going to get something behind that. You're going to get all of the mm. the measurement, the tr- you know, the analytics and all that. We know what we're doing. We know how to market to your customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we do on a daily basis. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. think. Yeah, I think that's and I think that's you know where brands, if they're serious about their business, they will. 
invest the time and energy and they will say, right, OK, let's get these people in because we do it like we do it with everything else in business. So, you know, like you won't get an accountant. To, you won't get someone just to come in and do your books. You go to an accountant to get your your, your tax returns done properly or your exactly. accounts done properly. Yeah. So, you know, why would you why would you do it? And why would you do it with this part of your business? I think where you know where you're coming from when you were saying you're like, going with the with YouTube now, everyone can do it. And they say, oh, well, it is. And that's well and good. Maybe for the small stuff, I would say, yes, go and look at YouTube. Or if you're going to do it, go and look at mm. whatever the on and do an online course. But get some sort of qualification or get some sort of person that is reputable that can teach you this, that's going to learn you how to use this properly. If you're going to go down that road yourself, which is fair, fine. We all we all like I just didn't wake up. I didn't wake up one morning and say, oh, I'm a social media manager or I'm a digital mm. marketer. Mm. I went and I trained how to do this. So if you're in, if that's the case of what you want to do with your business, I would say, yes, definitely go and get a, you know, whether it be a degree in it or, you know, do a training course, but do a proper training course. Absolutely. One that's, yeah. one that's you know, recognized. So you know that you're getting the right, that's, and I think that's one of the reasons why as well, why I went to the um, the DMI, the Digital Marketing Institute, is, is because they were all practitioners that were actually giving these courses. Yeah. So they were in the business. They were in it every day of the week instead of reading it off, of, uh, just off a book. They were actually doing these courses. They were working in the business. And, yeah. you know, when things were breaking, we were being told this on the diploma. Yeah, so it makes it makes all the difference. Absolutely. Hugely, hugely. Yeah. You know, I, I appreciate you coming on and uh, giving us a load of uh, advice here on the podcast and for our listeners. No, no, it's, yeah, I appreciate, you know. uh, for, I appreciate the inv- invitation and it's, it's great to kind of spend time. Um, mm. no, uh, absolutely, Alan. And uh, no, thank you very much for the invitation. Yeah. Yeah. So, Lorcan, we have one question we ask our guests every week on the show. It's nothing to do with digital marketing. It's a uh, the question is is been worried now yeah. <laughs> if you had the chance to invite someone to dinner whether it be past mm. or present uh, who would it be and why and that can be a number of people if you want uh, god that's, that's that's really put me on the spot um <laughs> I, I think um, my my grandparents, I suppose, on my mother's side and father's side, um, I would have I would have known my grandmother very very well. Um, my grandfather on my father's side would have passed away when I was very very young, and I I never got to know my my grandparents on my f- mother's side. So and mm. I would just I suppose just in terms of um, yeah, uh, just uh, I suppose understanding that yeah, it would be probably my 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 grandparents. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Well, I'm yeah. sure that'd be a, an interesting conversation. Um, definitely fantastic. Not, not, I was going to say, not Mick Jagger. <laughs> no, my grandparents. <laughs> oh, come here. We've had, I've had some, I've had some people on this that have said other things and I've gone, right. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I would have never thought that, you know, but anyway, look, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's, you know, and I think as I said, it's just a, it's a bit of fun, but it's also, it gives you an insight as well into, mm. you know, the way people were actually, we actually, react so yeah so thanks for that (laughs) and i I love and i love as you say like throwing a little curveball in there just to get you just just to get you thinking that that question now all day (laughs) you will actually exactly i'll bring back uh, okay (laughs) can i change that (laughs) or can i add to it yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, suddenly you have a party Party, yeah, exactly. so before we go i just how can people reach out to you lorcan if they want to get in contact with you yeah sure um uh, if people would like to contact me, I'm on LinkedIn, uh, Lorcan uh, Lorcan Kinsla on LinkedIn. Uh, you can get me at uh, at Lorcan Kinsla on Twitter. Company wise, it's brandnovadigital.com, uh, my my uh, website. And on um, yeah, that that's it on Facebook as well. Um, but again, the best place really I kind of um, I like to hang out, I suppose, is LinkedIn. Mm. Um, you'll get me there, Lorcan and Kinsla. Um, yeah, you'll find me. I'm connect. I'm always. I mean, I'm always. Don't be afraid to reach out. Um, it, there's you never know what's around the corner, what comes up, and if you're in the space and you're looking to connect or do business or actually kind of you know experience whatever it may be, partnerships. You know, I'm I'm kind of always open to that as well. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Well, thanks for your time, and uh, we wish you continued success uh, with the business, and uh, and no doubt we will we will have you back <laughs> on the podcast soon, and we shall talk and see. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about digital. So as I said, thanks for taking the time out because I know you're extremely busy, and uh, it was a pleasure. Well, thank you. Talk to you. All right, so we'll talk That's to you great. soon. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Alan. Thank you very much. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Best luck. Bye-bye. So my 
thanks to Lorcan for coming on the podcast today and sharing with us some fantastic tips and strategies about digital marketing. And if you'd like to find out more about Lorcan, you can log on to his website at brandnovadigital.com. And you can also find him on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and also on Facebook as well. So as I said, once again, many thanks for coming on the show and talking all about digital marketing. And if you'd like to listen to any of our previous podcasts, you can log on to our website at compassmedia.ie forward slash podcasts. And all of our podcasts are also available on Mixcloud, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. And we would be delighted if you would leave us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts, as we're always thrilled to receive your feedback on any of our previous podcasts as well. You can also subscribe to the Social Media Talks podcast, so you never miss an episode there as well. And if you'd like the show notes for this episode or for any of the previous episodes, you can log on to our website at compassmedia.ie forward slash SM Talks show notes. And if you'd like to become a guest on the podcast, please do get in contact with us by emailing us at smtalks at compassmedia.ie. If you'd like to find out about the services that Compass Media provide, from social media marketing to training to podcast services, you can log on to our website also there as well and find out all the details. That's about my lot for today. Do hope you enjoy the program. And please do get in contact with us if you would like to connect with me on social. You can find me at, on Twitter at Compass Media. Also on Facebook at compassmedia.ie. And I'm also on Instagram. And if you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, please do search for Alan Hennessy. As I'm always delighted to have a chat and connect with you. So on the next time, have a great week. And as I always say, be social. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Social Media Talks podcast is a production from compassmedia.ie.